All right, what's happening, guys? Winston here from Move Up, and so today we're going to talk about background and drug screening for movers. Background checks and drug screening. So, first question is: Should you do background checks and should you do drug screening? First one we'll talk about is background checks. So, I'm a big proponent of always doing background checks for not just drivers but also movers. You should do it for both. Some companies they'll only do it for the drivers, and I, you know, they do. They can cost a little bit of money. Um, some of your insurance policies actually can allow you to do them for free through through your policy. It just depends. But if you need a good reputable place to run background checks, there's a company called Cleared Movers. Uh, their website is cleareredmovers.com. They're a good resource to be able to do background checks for all your movers, all your drivers. And you should do that before you, you know, you could give a job offer, but it could be contingent on background check. Generally, you're going to be able to get the results on a background check instantaneously, maximum within a few hours. Now, drug screening, that's definitely a lot more complex. Drug screening, in my opinion, if you do it, you need to do randomized drug screening rather than like in order to get the job, I need to drug, you know, pee in a cup and then be able to pass it. If someone only has to pass it when they first get hired, once they're at the company and they never get tested, then you may have all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So if it's something that's important to you, it does cost money, but you could you can pay for randomized drug screening, drug, drug testing. That's something that you, you have to really think through and consider, is this something that I want to have a part of my business? A lot of people won't pass it, especially like I live in Virginia, you know, Virginia is one of the states that passed that, you know, of the legalization of, of using marijuana. And people will ask you, you ask, hey, would you be willing to undergo a drug screening? They'll ask what gets tested on it. And my answer is always everything gets tested. And this is a tough one, especially for the moving industry, because there's just so many people that use marijuana rec recreationally. But I think as a business owner, you got to really consider like, all right, how strict do I want to be? Or, you know, am I going to do randomized drug screening or am I going to have just policies that like, hey, if our managers or leadership team smells, if you smell like marijuana, you're sent home. If you're caught using it at work, immediate termination. These are things that you need to document in your, your employee handbook. You need to go over it with staff, you know, probably quarterly. But if you really want to test people, it is a big endeavor. You're gonna shrink your labor pool even more. And I think you have to really consider the consequences of it. Can you grow your moving business if you do drug screening? You might not be able to grow it as fast, but you may have a better lifestyle. You may have a more, a, a, a more clean business. Not just <laughs> literally clean, but meaning you may not deal with problems that other business owners deal with. If you just choose not to hire people who, who partake in, in doing those things, that can be part of your policies. At the minimum, there should be some infrastructure, some policies on the, the smell and use of drugs. If employees show up to a, a customer's house and their clothes reek of pot, or they look glazed over, that's not going to get you five-star reviews. It's not going to help your reputation. And so, you know, a lot of times I think we go back and forth on, should we let some things slide because I need these guys and they're kind of who are out doing the work and I'm not sure if I can get anybody else or am I going to stick to my standards? And you know what? If we can't get another crew and another truck out on the road, you know, this quarter like we had planned, so be it. We're going to stick to the standard. This is a big, big decision, a big dilemma for most people is do we choose profits and revenue or do we choose our standards? It's much harder than me just talking about it. You're better off to choose standards while understanding revenue and profits do have a big place. It is the number one reason why you probably run a business is to create a profit. So should you drug screen? I'm a 50-50 component or position on that. If you do it, you gotta do randomized. What happens if you have like a, a stud driver and he doesn't pass? Well. Do you terminate that person? What's the policy there? You have to be willing to stick to your guns. What is the worst thing you could do is create a policy. 
it basically doesn't get followed, you don't follow through on your consequences, then everybody knows that your policies are not in force. It now diminishes any other policies you ever create in the company because people don't take you as serious. So if you're going to do it, you, you've got to stick to the consequences. You have to stick to the policies, even when the decision might negatively hurt you for, for the short term. Personally, I think that you probably will run the most effective moving business, doing background checks on everyone, not doing drug screening, but having drug policies. Okay, drug policies, such as if you show up to work and you smell like it, sent home, write up, you know, so many write ups and then you're gonna lead to a termination. If you, you, if you have it on you and you're using it at a job, to me, it's a termination. And you're probably gonna have to make an example of someone and it's probably gonna suck. But then once you make the example, it won't happen. And so you choose as a business owner or a manager what you want to allow in the business. If that's the type of stuff you do and that's your identity, then you probably don't care. If that's not really what you represent and then your team puts that, like that's what you put out on jobs, instantly that is what you represent. You may not be partaking in it, but you're representing in it by the employees that you employ in your company. So my recommendation, I think probably where your best fit is background check everyone. I probably would not do drug screening, it's just a big endeavor. Am I saying that you can't do it? No, but I would have drug policies. Okay, I have drug policies and I'd have a really hard standard on those. So I might not be out randomizing, doing random drug tests, but I would have some really firm policies and then I would stick to them. And again, that's gonna look like, sometimes you're gonna make a, a tough choice. So that's my spiel today for background checks and drug screening. If you have any questions, again, uh, for background checks, check out clearedmovers.com. They're a good resource. There's a several other sites that you can make an account and then you pay per check, it's very easy. And so I would have that part of your hiring process. And again, you can give a job offer, but you can make it contingent on that. So um, if you feel like you don't want to wait around, you want to go ahead and get somebody going, you can do that. And there's all kinds of ways that you can set your process. With that being said, we're signing off. We will see you next week.